Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Bug Fables. In the last episode, we began our journey to find the everlasting sapling. With our newly crafted trio of explorers, we set forth into the vast depths of Snake Belt Den to find the rumored treasures that have yet to be plundered, as well as prove that anyone big or small can become an adventurer. And with that being said, we did quite a bit of stuff in our very first episode. We fought off with a giant spider, although we never really got to do any damage to it, we definitely did technically fight off with one. And we also created our team of adventurers here we got here. We got Vi the Bee, we got Kabu the Beetle, and then we also got uh, Leaf the Moth. Definitely a band of misfits, but honestly, they're all pretty likable. But with that being said, our venture into the depths of Snake Mouth then continue, and honestly, I guess we'll just figure out what we got ourselves into in the very short future. But let's see here. When at a loss on what to do, press the share button to give you a hint of what you've been looking for. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We can talk to our team if we... Well, now that we have a new member, I would think it would have a new dialogue. Oh, this room is gigantic. Uh, indeed. It's hard to know where to go. Hmm, when in doubt, go left. True. Oh, no way. Right is right. Uh, given the way this cave has been laid out, I believe we will have to go, um, both ways. Hmm, what a drag. Um, no joke. Let's rest up, and then go explore some more. Okay, so let's definitely take a look around, but let's never forget to use the boomerang, because the boomerang is going to be our best weapon of hitting from long range for sure. But let's see here. Let's swap over to Kabu since we know we can drop defenses with Kabu. And we also now learned that whoever's in the front is going to be doing more damage, which is definitely good to know for later. But yes, definitely, uh, definitely a good thing to know. But the more you attack, the more attacks that you use. So de technically, the more someone attacks, the less damage they're going to do over time. So we do need to remember about that. But we never got to use this ice fall thing, so let's try this out. Press X when the cursor is right on the right spots. Okay. Oh, okay, that was a lot more different than I was expecting that to be, but... It did seem like it technically cancelled the thing's attack, so... It worked in the end, actually. Not bad. Hmm, okay. That'll definitely come in handy since we can definitely use that to our advantage. And 24 explorer points for that. Definitely a grab, we'll definitely take that. And we're actually full on items here, so I we'll, guess we'll just throw that down for a second. And actually, since we can, might as well just use the free heal. <laughs> no reason not to, right? Um, this looks like it might have something. Oh, there actually is something. Poison Defender Metal increases an ally's defense while poisoned by one. Um, no reason not to use it, right? Since, you know, the fact that <laughs> there's literally no reason not to. And, it, okay, that also proves that the hard mode metal is on everybody. Okay, that's good to know. But, yeah, probably the best to throw that on by, I guess. Just because, in general, it can come in handy. But, let's see here, what do we got on our hands? So, it said we had to go both ways, so I guess we'll just throw this at that. And see where we're heading from here. And so far, not the hardest thing. Keep going, make sure we don't fall to our deaths, and then turn on all of these, I think. No reason not to, right? Okay. Oop. I thought I threw that far faster than it actually attacked me, but nope. That did not work in my favor. But we did do a double block there, so all's, all, all's well it ends well, let's be honest there. So let's see here, let's go for the Ichnos here. We need to go for a free knockout for that guy. And then we don't want to waste you yet because of the fact that only, well, technically, well, actually it doesn't work in the end for us anyways, but what I was going to say is that we want to not waste our attack and try and use it on that guy first because of the fact that we have to knock him on the floor first since Vi is literally the only person that can attack this guy at the time being. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be forever it's going to be like that. I need to get better at this character. I keep pressing the wrong button sometimes. And it's more of just because I'm not used to the random button press for that. And wow, that was a really fast skill check. <laughs> Barely caught that one, but I'll definitely take it. But 10 experience, not bad. Definitely comes in handy, that's for sure. 
Don't know if we have to press all of these switches, but I am pressing them just in case. Since there's no reason not to press them, right? Oh, didn't even see that guy, to be honest, but thankfully it's not the worst case scenario. Okay, let's drop you to the floor. And then... That's a good question. What should we do here? Um, we can try Ice Fall, I guess. Oh, and it does attack all enemies. That's also good. Let's see here. One there. Good, good, good. Okay, you're now frozen, which actually makes things ten times easier for us. Since now we could technically go... Well, we can't really do much here anyways, but it's still better than nothing, right? But I guess we'll just go for a random attack. No reason not to, right? But that is good to know that Icefall does freeze on occasion here. And it could be all the time for all I know, but definitely better than not knowing at all, let's be honest. But that makes a lot more sense why the attack actually got cancelled, which is pretty good, honestly. Okay, so it seems like it's always been X recently, but that doesn't mean that it's always going to be X for that ability, because we've seen Circle and we've seen Square, so it won't always work in our favor. But since we are getting a lot of healing items, let's just try and use one of these up, since there's no reason not to, right? So I guess we'll use the TP first, and then I guess we'll use the Crunchy Leaf on... I guess Leaf here, because Leaf is taking some damage, just be so we don't waste any of our skills here. There's no reason to waste anything. Ooh, what's this? You found a magic seed. A seed which can bring upon miracles revives an ally with 7 HP. Oh, cool. That's really early for a revive. I'll take that. Plant Plant-like and fungi-based creatures are weak to cold temperatures. Many different creatures have different weaknesses and resistances, which could change the outcome of a battle. Makes sense, because of the fact that spiky creatures had their own thing there too. Seems like there might be something down below us, but I don't know if it would be safe to go down there or not. I'm gonna be honest there. Just because I don't think we sh I don't think jumping down there is like a good idea in general. But I guess we'll find out later. You never know. Let's knock him down and then go for our free double attack here. Okay, so from what we can tell, we want to go for Kabu here to do the free flipperoo. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I gave Kabu the double attack. Oh, that actually works. Huh, okay. I'll take that. That actually is very helpful, actually. No way around that is actually bad. So I'll definitely take that so I can transfer that too. Huh. Okay, that actually makes things a little bit easier here, because then we can transfer those attacks for later and then be ready for it. Oh, seriously. <laughs> this character is going to take some getting used to, I'm going to be honest there. I know, like, I should probably be a little bit, it sh I should be used to doing a character like this, but I don't know why, I just, okay, there we go, I got that one, but it's, jeez. <laughs> okay, well, we got a level out of it, so no way around it, we still did good. And this is our first level with Leaf on our team, so let's see here. It's gonna be okay, so it's always gonna be a HP, TP, or metal, which is never bad. Um, I feel like HP is still gonna be better in the long run for the time being, just because the more HP we have, the less you know glass cannon we are. So I think it would be better to have that, so we can use it to our advantage, honestly. But definitely not too terrible, and levels do heal us, so that also answers that question. Let's here, let's move that for er, for now, so we can get that later in. Okay, the items do disappear, so I guess we can't save those, but it would have been nice. Definitely, we'll say that for sure, but let's see here, let's do that. Get on up here, okay, let's wait for that, turn into Kabu so we can move it over, and then try and get it into a decent position for a jump onto the platform here, and then we'll see from there what we can do. Okay, Vi, you need to hit that, and then we can move this over here so we can get onto this platform, and I guess we can jump up here. Oh, hello. I did not expect you to be an enemy. Okay, let's see here. Here you go. <laughs> we'll hit you twice, and then get a free double attack on you. But let's see here. We can knock you down for free. No reason not to. Okay, now that you're on the ground, that makes things ten times easier for us. Actually, you have four HP still. Surprised about that one, to be honest, but it's not a bad thing for us at the end point here anyways. Let's see here. Oop, square. 
I wonder if there's a way to tell before it actually goes off. I bet you there is, but I haven't noticed it yet. It's probably something to do with speed of the projectile, I think. Could be, but could be not at the same time. I could be overthinking it entirely, but I'll get better at it eventually, right? I don't think I won't, so... Okay, I was thinking square in my head that time, so... I guess it is based on projectile. I think it will always be the same as the last one that you threw. It seems to be that way, but that doesn't mean that it's always going to be that way. So, definitely strange, but I think I'm understanding it. So, I think I'll eventually figure it out, for sure. But, let's turn that on, I guess? I wasn't sure if that was something we could turn on, but I guess so. Um, is everyone alright? Hmm, did we call the, the Trema? Um, I guess. It was a pretty big switch. Uh, we must have made progress from unlocking the door. Let's keep going. Yeah, let's definitely keep going. So yeah, that makes a lot more sense why they said we had to go both ways. Where do we go from here? Well, I see a mushroom down here, so there's a safe point to jump from. And it looks like... Oh, yep, we're definitely back where we started. Okay, cool. So let's do, I guess, for some TP back, I guess. I don't I, We probably didn't waste any there, but just in case, no reason not to, right? But let's see here, let's freeze that, turn into Kabu, start pushing this into position, and this definitely is a pretty cool ability to have this early in a game, just because of the fact that all the characters feel like they do something is always just something nice in general. Let's wait for him to kind of lose focus for a second, or to get something like that to work, which I'll take something like that over um, this guy running at us as aggressively as he was. But let's see. Let's do... A swap into Kabu, I think. Oh, I didn't. Well, I didn't mean to do that. That was actually the wrong turn deal, uh, relay. But uh, let's see here. I want to go for probably a jelly shroom here, and then go for a normal attack there. Okay. And then we can go into leaf there, and then we can go for I think a square. Nope, not square. Uh, swear. I'll get it eventually, but it's something that's gonna take some time. I think if I was did any kind of like battle training in between episodes I probably would have been able to figure it out by now but I haven't actually got to do any training and it's actually a couple days since I last played this mostly because um what do you call it I don't like to record on Sundays when I record and I do a lot of these videos in advance just so I know I have videos for you in the near future because I might have something that I might need to do or something like that in general so it's always good to make sure that we're, you know, doing anything we can to make sure that you guys have videos in general to watch and stuff like that. But definitely with how everything has been going, I definitely will say that uh, there is some combat things that I do need to get used to, like Leaf there. But because there was something behind- oh, there was actually something back there. Huh, Crystal Berry, another one of those. Still don't know what those are going to give us, but okay, I was not expecting to find a mushroom back there, but I just went there because of the fact that there was a crystal berry behind the other one, and the one uh, poison mass that we found, but okay, well, cool. <laughs> They're definitely going to be hiding stuff now, that's cool. But geysers can be frozen. Frozen geysers can be used as platforms, but they thaw out after a while. By giving it a heavy strike, one can break them faster. Geysers can also carry around lightweight objects on top of them. Okay. Well, that's definitely going to be a puzzle later. Let's definitely be honest about that one. But let's see here. Let's turn this there. Ooh. Okay, we got to turn. Okay, we got to freeze them in the right order. Okay, that's definitely needs to be done for sure. But let's get rid of the zombie ant just because he is in kind of in the way in a way. But in a way he isn't. But. Let's just get rid of him so he doesn't do any danger to us in the near future. And because of the fact that... Okay, well, because we double attacked, it actually didn't do anything. Oops. Well, that's unfortunate, but it's not the worst case scenario. This one seems like it would be... Well, I was going to say square, but it ended up being circle. Oops. <laughs> uh, this game hates me sometimes. This leaf character is definitely a learning curve. And it's mostly because... What do you call it? Um, well, no, they, that was in 
that was in Paper Mario as well, and Mario and Luigi, but it was less often, and it was more for special attacks than it was for normal attacks. So it's more of something that's... Now I gotta get used to it being a normal attack than a special attack in this when it comes to this game. Because I'm trying not to completely compare both the games, even though there is, you know, direct references to it, and it's definitely inspired by it. But it's, it's 100% its own thing, let's be honest. But, let's see. Hopefully, there we go. Okay, so far so good. And that one wins. Not the right one, but it doesn't mean that it's wor the worst case scenario. Okay, I think that, yep, there we go. Okay, and there's is a freeze here. So let's see here. Let's break that. No, can't break it. It was worth a shot, but let's see. I can't get on top of that, but that doesn't mean that's... Okay, let's see here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, wait a minute. Forgotten that we can... Yeah, okay, that's exactly what we have to do. Okay, so we gotta go like that. Like that. Oh! You can throw it in the geyser. Oh! Well, that changes things a little bit. Okay. And we can use the platform over here to get... Never mind, but... Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't even matter. We could just jump on top of the ice cube in the geyser and get on top of here. I was trying to do it by getting on top of the ice cube, but the ice cube is too high. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess that works. Frozen enemies cannot act, and they can... They take increased damage when hit in battle. However, hitting an enemy while it is frozen will thaw down immediately. Okay. Interesting. But noted. Definitely noted. Let's keep making our progress. Let's see if we can freeze the enemy, and then go for like a Kabu attack. Because I think as long as we freeze it, it counts as it being stunned? No, it doesn't. Well, that's definitely worth a check, just because it did say frozen enemies take extra damage, but... Okay. Well, I do see an ice fall in their future, so let's definitely go for that. Let's go for the middle if I can. Nope. <laughs> well, that doesn't work, but... We did get a big freeze on one of them, so that's a free knock in, a knockdown for us. Let's go for a turn delay just to, fr well, throw one over. Just because we know we can flip them. No reason not to. Just because in general. Okay, let's get ready to block. Awesome for that one. It seems if you can get an early, um, or like a last mi minute block, you actually drop the damage by one entirely as well. Which is also good to know. So, definitely remember that. I'm gonna actually probably just turn my turn over, I think, just because I feel like, uh, I'm gonna be honest here, I do not have a lot of confidence in, um, making sure to get that attack with Leaf, and to make sure that we actually do the damage, I would prefer to use Vi there, I think, and we can go for Kombu to flip the other guy around, no reason not to. Okay, well that'll work. I think I can work with that, just make sure we block those damages, just because it does drop the damage by one for the time being, so it'll definitely come in handy. Let's see your circle. Yep, circle. Okay, well I haven't seen it hit triangle yet, so it's a one of three choice. I was thinking it was one of four before, so that definitely works better for me in the long run. But until we see triangle, I don't think there's no way for me to not worry about it. I buy but let's see here. By blocking with precise timing, it is possible to further reduce damage, which we just learned, but from received from enemies. If you block exactly when the enemy hits, an audio cue and a different message will show up. To confirm you have done so successfully, that is called a super block. Well, I think I've already done it a couple times, so... So when it says awesome, then you know you did it. Okay, well, cool. Let's see here. Any reason to... Yeah, definitely. I see it. Okay, let's... We need to hit the switch first, and then we need to make our way up here. There we go. And then, let's see here, we need to freeze the geyser here, it seems. So let's freeze that. Well, I didn't mean to fall off the thing, but I don't know how that happened in the first place, but... <laughs> okay, let's see here. Let's break that, and then get back into leaf here. And then try and freeze it when we need to. Let's see here, I think like there, maybe? Yeah, that definitely is it. Okay, let's make our way over. Okay, we got another floating platform that's going really high up, but let's see where that heads over to, since it's definitely going to lead us to another one of those switches in the near future. 
Okay, let's throw that at the zombie ant. And get a free knockdown on him to get ourselves a double attack here. Because the double attacks are definitely useful, to be honest. But let's see here. Okay. Should I go for another? I guess I should. Just because of the fact that we know that it's going to do an extra damage. And then we can knock it out with Kabu here for two damage. Okay. And then hopefully I can get this one. Square? Nope. Circle. I hate that it does zero damage when you completely mess it up, though. That's... It makes me feel sad that I know that I'm not going to get anything out of that, but it's it, it's not the worst case scenario. It's just that, you know, I wish I could get used. And that time was X. Of course it was. Thanks, game. Ow. <laughs> Blocked too early. But we got them. Down you go. <laughs> no more of that, please. But there we go. Eight experience. Well, that didn't help at all. But at least we are getting... When it says we're starting to get less and less experience, it definitely does prove that we're, you know, getting closer to the level we need to be. But let's see here. I want to probably use one of these leaves. Or probably, do we want to use both? I don't think so. But, yeah, I don't think so. We'll definitely try to just use one here, if we can. And let's see here. We need to turn into leaf here. And then we need to freeze this water when it's at the right place. There we go. And then freeze. Oh, wait for it. There we go. Perfect. Turn into Kabu, turn this over here, and then push this into the geyser for later, and then jump on top of it, and then just um, wait and ride it out until we can get to the top. There we go. And another switch done. And that should open up that middle area, since that definitely looked like a door. Oh, all right. It's two switches now. Hmm, pretty sure the door should be open now. Oh, uh, good. Let's make our way back to the door, then. Yeah, let's definitely make our way back. What are we gonna find behind the door? Who knows, but we're definitely going that way, that's for sure. And honestly, it's a pretty big door, so it's definitely gonna lead somewhere, that's for sure. No way around that one, but we should probably go for a heal. No way around that either. But, yeah, let's definitely try and go for a save here, and then we'll definitely go from there. But let's see here. Um, let's do Vi in the front, I think. That's maybe the call, but I'm not too sure, but this place is huge. But it definitely seems like we're getting closer to wherever, you know, the treasure of this place would be. I wouldn't say around that, just because of the fact that it's, it is the first dungeon, so it can only be so big, right? So, we definitely do need to be prepared for anything, but hopefully by- no, okay, I was kind of hoping that by hitting the enemy it would force it to drop to the floor, but sadly that isn't the case, but that doesn't mean that it's not a worthwhile thing that we just did. But let's definitely go for- well, I missed one of them, but it should be enough to- well, didn't drop it, but that doesn't mean we can't go for an ice fall here, just because- you know, no reason not to use these skills, and if I get more used to it, it'll come in handy for later. But, let's see here. So it said we do de extra damage to frozen enemies. Okay, yeah, that's definitely extra damage. That definitely answers that one, since we did two damage instead of one. So, oh. And, okay, so we can use... Wait, why didn't... It... So now I can go for long-range attacks? Okay, then I don't know what happened there, but... I swear I couldn't do that before, but okay. <laughs> well, I'll take it because of the fact that I swear I couldn't do that before, but eh, not the worst case scenario. Well, let's see here. Um, probably the jelly shroom here. I'm gonna say X. Well, apparently it did damage, so I'll take that. I'll take that over anything. Got an awesome block there, pretty good. And then we'll go for a nice little beamerang over there. And down goes the enemies. GG. <laughs> GG. But, let's see, from here, where do we want to go from here? It looks like, yeah, just up. Okay, so just keep following the mushrooms then. Wasn't sure if there was anything extra, like, secrets. So, and there is a save over there, so we can, so even though we just used all of our TP just a second ago, it, does, it isn't the worst case scenario, because we're going to be able to instantly, you know, fix it in a couple seconds. But, let's see here. We have enough to maybe go for a tornado toss here. Let's go for the flying guy to get him out of the way. Well, I don't know how that happened, but... <laughs> wow, that was bad. 
That was really bad. But, okay. Well, <laughs> I have no words. I actually have no words for that one, I'll be honest. That did not work in my favor. But, eh, I guess... I guess there's nothing I can really say about that. At least we're now doing damage with our characters no matter what now here, though. Even if we miss with Leaf. I'm actually happy that we're not getting completely messed over because of that. Oh, oof. We're getting hit pretty hard here. I'm gonna say we should probably swap here. Just because of the fact that, yeah, we're getting hit pretty hard. So let's throw Kabu in front. Because the person in front is going to be more likely to be hit. And it seems like, okay, depending on... Okay, so it was just Kabu that couldn't attack people in the back. I'm pretty sure Leaf's the same way, but that answers that question. Because I was kind of confused about that. Because I was trying to do that with Kabu. And, okay, so yeah, Kabu's the only one that can attack the people in front. Okay, well, that definitely helps. But let's see here. This should be... Square. <laughs> okay. That just, I guess that just proves the game hates me, but let's see here. Let's go for here. Honestly, I think it's more funny that it's happening than actually being mad about it. Just because of the fact that I swear I'm going to get it, and then I don't get it, but it's, it's fine. Let's see here. If I can get it here, that would be cool. It was square last time. I pressed square. Ended up being X. Okay. Okay. I see how it is, game. I see how it is. I wish it was... What I think would be kind of cool is if you could see the symbol and the ice ball before you throw it. But that is just me, though, I guess. But literally no reason to pick up that. Actually, wait, no, maybe. We can probably get rid of the purple danger shroom, since I don't think that's ever going to be in handy. Because of the fact that it says for a price, it's going to mean that it's going to do damage or poison us. So... I don't feel like that would ever help us, so I guess we could just get rid of it. No reason not to, right? But let's see here. Let's definitely go for a save here and then prepare for whatever's further into this place. Because I don't know, you know, because we haven't ran into a boss fight yet other than the spider. So I don't know how boss fights are going to work yet just because we couldn't do any actual damage to the thing. But, oh, well, that looks like the treasure we're looking for. Just because we know we were looking for one, we didn't know what we were looking for, but there's the treasure. Oh, okay. Well, what is it exactly? Oh, uh, could this be the artifact? Huh, sort of a mask, it seems. Well, it doesn't really seem special or valuable at all. It seems kind of cool. Hmm, Suska, Mijua. Hmm. Um, Leaf? Um, are you alright? Hmm, yes. This mask has very potent magic. We reacted strongly to it. Okay. Uh, that settles it then. This is probably the real artifact then. Oh, Debs. We shouldn't touch it anyways. Oh, uh, the Queen has claimed it already. Uh, bye. Hmm, the Queen. Um, yeah, yeah, whatever. Hmm, well, okay. Well, there's our artifact, I guess. You have found the ancient mask. Okay, cool. We'll take it. Ancient mask, you say. Well, we set off a trap. <laughs> yep, that that makes a lot of sense. We didn't try any easier. Uh, um, oh dear. Um, uh, curses. It's a trap. Um, we need to leave. Hmm, on quickly. Yeah, let's get out of here before we get over flooded by the water. But it looks like we got a giant spider on our hands. Huh, you. Oh, s seriously? The spider. Huh, this is the worst possible timing. Hmm, we disagree. It's the perfect time for payback. I guess so. <laughs> well, it seems like the spider doesn't like that ice magic. Hmm, if it won't let us escape, we might as well defeat it. Oh, um, but, but last time we had to run. Oh, uh, we're stronger now, Vi. Leaf is with us. Some battles we cannot run from. True. Oh, God. Oh, right. Let's take it out before the ring floods. Okay. Well, here we go. Here comes Mr. Spider. Okay, so he's got double attacks. That could be a problem, but it could be not a problem. I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's go for probably an early tornado toss here. 
just because of the fact that we can do some decent damage here to start with. Just because it is Vi, after all, Vi is pretty strong, so there's literally no reason not to. But let's see here, let's go for a big ol' hit with the horn there, and then I guess prepare for X? Nope, square. Why is it always the opposites? And it's the timing of it, it's because uh, no matter what, the timing's gonna go away by the, by the time I think about the other one. You have to be right on the thing, so you gotta be ready for it when it happens. <laughs> uh, I'll get used to it eventually, like I said. But let's see here. I'm gonna say, okay, that one's circle, but thankfully I got that that time. Probably don't go for it as fast as I am. I think it's the reason why I'm having problems is because I'm pressing it so fast. And that could be my major problem. But it may not be the worst case scenario because it's still going through sometimes. Because sometimes it's not going as fast as I think it would be going. But we're definitely doing quite a bit of damage to the spider already. Okay, so far so good. Let's get ready for another one. That one's times square and thankfully I got it. And Spider seems angry. And he summoned some friends. Oh, great. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Hopefully we got rid of his... Nope, he still has his double attacks. And he's actually focusing um, Leaf here. So that's not a good thing. Maybe we should probably... Yeah, that might be a good idea. Let's turn Relay Kabu here, I think. And then we're going to have Kabu go for a taunt on all enemies and make all the enemies focus on him because he has more HP and we can probably use that to our advantage here. Let's try and get the rest of these enemies out of here while they're focusing on just in general trying to attack us. So let's see here, get an X in there, do a little bit of damage. Ooh, ow, that hit way too bad. That's not good. And this guy's going to attack twice, so it may not be the best thing. Uh oh, well he's definitely down. Wait, it always attacks twice with that poison? Uh-oh, that's... Okay. I was not expecting that. That's actually a lot of damage. Yeah, he needs to go down. I need to drop him. No way around that one. Okay, well, we're definitely taking way too much damage here. Just because of the fact that I was not prepared for that. But let's definitely heal. And prepare for the... Well, try and get some decent blocks in here. Oh, need to spam. Okay, oh, ow. I was not expecting a spam there, but definitely works for me. Just because I thought that was going to be worse than it was. But we did get poison from that. And now we're going to get to learn what poison does. Ouch. Okay. That's not the worst thing. And right now we're not in a good position either. Just because of the fact that we're taking way too much damage here. And it's not good for us whatsoever. But... That doesn't mean that we're done for. Because of the fact that we still are doing pretty good here. But let's see here. Let's go for... I'm trying to think of how to do this. Because of the fact that... What do you call it? Just in general. Let's give our turn to Vi. Let's swap our... Oh, uh, because... Okay, well that doesn't work for us at all. But that doesn't mean that we're done for. Because as long as we get rid of this guy, we can drop one of the enemies. And then we can go for... I wish we had an item that healed everybody, but we don't have that yet. So this could be bad in, the, in general. But I think we should heal Leaf here, I think. I should, probably should have went for the Mushroom instead, honestly. But as long as he doesn't attack by... And I actually need to change that because you can actually change the attack um attack spam for that just because I don't I don't think anyone wants to hear me spamming the button I'm gonna be honest but we're definitely poisoned quite hard here though but let's see what can we do we can go for geez we're really poisoned actually just because in general but let's go for a heal and buy I think try and get the poison out because the poison's what's doing most of our damage right now and other than that, we're doing pretty fine. Okay, so far so good. I think we only take one damage for poison, so I think we're good with not healing you, but it says two, so I think it does two damage now instead of just one. Hmm. I don't want to waste an item, though, here, just because it's better to go for an attack now. Just because 
I'm pretty sure this guy's already pretty weak at the moment, but of course he's going for another attack, of course. <laughs> oh, crud. Okay, well, hard mode's definitely coming in and um, improving that. On bosses, the hard mode's definitely hard, but eh, so far we're not in a bad situation since we're still doing damage and we're still doing pretty decent. But that doesn't mean that we're safe, though, whatsoever. But let's see here. I think we're probably better... Oh, wait, no, because he already attacked before, it wouldn't do as much damage. We'll just go for a normal attack here and hopefully knock out the spider. Because if we can get the spider... Uh oh, it's flying. That's that's not good. That's really not good because of the fact that it's Kabu can't attack flying enemies whatsoever. Oh, no. Um, what do I do here? Yeah, actually, how does that work? Because if you lose Vi at any point, that means your fight's over, right? I just thought of that. Unless, maybe you can use Ice Fall? I think maybe you can use Ice Fall. That might actually be our way around it, so let's go for maybe this here. And maybe go for a luck-based win here, because I think that's literally our only chance here. But yeah, let's go for Ice Fall and let's try and knock down the spider here. And hopefully, we can freeze the spider. That would have been nice to know earlier. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest there. But I think we're done for no matter what we do here. I'm gonna just be honest. But if I do go down, I'll just do a skip until we get back to where we were. Just because I was not prepared for this fight. I'm gonna be honest there. Jeez. Wow, okay. I got my butt handed to me, but that doesn't mean that it's bad. But because we've never seen the end screen and their tail was never finished. Huh. Okay then. We'll definitely... Yeah, I'll definitely be right back. We're gonna get back to where we were right when... Probably... I'll get to where, like, we got rid of that, uh, Ignos guy. And then we'll continue from there. Because I feel like the hard mode a actually completely messed me, messed me up because I didn't do any training in between episodes. I think that's probably my most problematic thing that happened during that fight. But other than that, I think we did pretty good. But we're definitely in a learning curve. That's definitely it. And I think we want to use Ice Fall instead of going for the other attack in boss fights. Because that did a lot of damage um, for just in general. Because we know that Ice freezes. And I didn't know we could actually freeze the bosses. That was mostly just something from Persona that I couldn't get used to. Because I you couldn't, couldn't do statuses to bosses in Persona. So I was kind of used to that. So I didn't think about that. So I think that's mostly my problem there. But I'll be right back and we'll get back to where we were in literally not even a couple seconds. So see you guys very soon and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, I think we're about where we were. But yeah, definitely um, I'm noticing now without the hard mode thing, they actually, um, one of the, en the enemies actually dropped by a whole HP bar, which is not bad. Uh, actually, it helps out a lot because of the fact that uh, the Ichnos went down a lot faster and actually went down in one hit, which definitely helps us, but they're actually doing quite a lot less damage too, so yeah, definitely, I guess, yeah, during boss fights I probably should take down the hard thing, just because I'm using that just to get extra experience. But, jeez, yeah, they hit, they hit pretty hard, I'm gonna be honest there. But let's see here, um, should I... I should probably go for the thing, but I don't know if I should or not. But the thing is, is if I go for Ice Fall, I might actually got, get rid of the other enemy too if I aim right in between both of them. So maybe that might be my play here, or even just waste his turn in general. But it's definitely not the worst case scenario. But I did learn something about the Poison Mist there. Because of the fact that how the Poison Mist works, so the one bar on top of our heads means that the poison's gonna last for one more turn. So it doesn't mean it does extra damage, but the thing is, is the poison mist, it adds plus one, and it seems like it adds plus two if it uses the attack twice. So it can be pretty bad. So yeah, definitely it can be really bad to get attacked by it, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna be a KO for sure if you do get happen to get attacked by it. But you need to go for a heal on Leaf. The poison's definitely making definitely taking a toll on us. But that doesn't mean that we're in a bad situation. Just because I think Kabu won't go down 
no matter what here for this next attack. But it's definitely doing quite a bit of damage to us, I'll be honest there. But okay, there we go. Okay, hopefully we're getting closer to the well, it not having enough HP anymore. I don't think it has much left. I really doubt it. But I know I'm taking a gigantic risk here. But the thing is, is the poison's way too much at the moment for us to not just go for the win here. And thankfully it was enough. Okay. We had enough damage to get rid of the boss before the poison took effect. But hopefully we don't have to worry about the poison anymore. Huh. We did it. Huh. For real this time. Hopefully so. Because that poison was pretty bad. And the most, mostly the reason why the poison was bad was just because... We didn't have healing for the whole team, and I think, well, obviously, we'll be able to buy items, I think, for healing the whole team eventually, but we'll definitely, for a fight like that, the poison was definitely scary. <laughs> we really did it. More to scare. But working together, we were victorious. We did it. Hmm, thank you. We don't know much of what's happening to us. But beating up that spider was great. Was a great stress relief. Um, no problem. I was gonna beat it up. Um, anyways. Yeah, sure. But what's this ancient mask do, though? Um, and we got the treasure too. True. But we still don't know what the treasure does. Oh, uh, curses! We forgot about the flood. Hmm. We should probably leave while we can. Yeah, probably the best thing. Um, oh heck. Yeah, probably. Well, well, there's it goes the flood. <laughs> Didn't get there out of there at all in time. But we might be fine. The adventurous duo V, Bai and Kabu, dove into Snake Mount Den for their team's first exploration mission, a place known for having consumed any previous explorer that dared to enter. Even so, the team stuck together and were surprised with a new friend, Leaf. Together, they found one of the fabled artifacts that the Ant Queen has been looking for. Triggering a trap, they defeated the vile spider before being swept away. What will happen to this trio who met due um who met due to chance? Will they stick together in their journey? Little do they know that their adventure is just only starting. Not bad. And end of chapter one. Well, makes sense. We did finish off a pretty hefty dungeon. So, with that being said, <laughs> there goes the chapter one, the what was it, the Actually, I actually I only remembered the name once, mostly because it was the dysfunctional trio, wasn't it? It was something like that. I do remember like the idea of what the what the title of the chapter was, mostly because it wasn't in the save menu. But with that being said, down to chapter one. Huh? <laughs> what? Well, at least we're alive, or I think so. I honestly don't know, but it seems like we're fine. Oh, uh, fine, please. You alright? Well, bye is. Um, ugh. I'm all soaked. Um, cripes. We really got lucky, didn't we? Um, I'm a bit hazy. We got the artifact and its spider attacked. Um, eat. The artifact? I dropped it. Hmm. Um, Leaf. Did you grab the artifact? Huh, seriously, bye. Worry about the artifact later. Let's make sure Leaf is okay first. Okay. Yep, he's fine. Hmm. Next time, we'll just freeze this whole dumb river. Huh, phew. I'm so relieved to see you're well. Hmm. Um, so... I was thinking it was... was I thought that was late for a second, but nope, that's fine. Um, so, did you catch the artifact or... Hmm. Um, the artifact is over there. Oh, well that works. <laughs> well, but what even is it, though? It, all we know is it's just a mask, but... Is it useful? Um, alrighty. Not a scratch. Hmm, your concern is touching by. Um, oh, drop it. You look super fine anyways. Oh, uh, well, at least we've completed our mission, right? Uff, uh, we're going to need a good rest. Um, after we figure out where we are, that is. True. Where even are we? Hmm, if we recall, this is close to the Ant Kingdom. We should get back to the city pretty quickly. Um, it's nice to feel the sun again. It'll be good to go back. Uh, honestly, Vine, maybe you raved about the artifact, but saving you was the true victory in my eyes. <laughs> That's nice, nice to meet Kabu. Hmm, 
um, things, I guess. Um, jeez. Calm down over there. Let's report to the Queen and get a reward. Hmm, Elizant. Elizant's? It's an interesting saying, but let's do a nice save and prepare for whatever may come next. Chapter 1 complete. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> we'll definitely take it. Not much of an achievement, just because it says just says chapter one complete, but definitely pretty good to know. But so there we go. That's that's a full shirt for sure confirmed. But the game already confirmed that for us because we already technically completed the chapter a couple seconds ago before that. But let's see here. Uh, we should head to the kingdom. I was just wondering what happens if you go in that cave again. Seems like no reason to go there again. That is. For now, maybe maybe in the future we can go back there, but you never know. Definitely worth the chance to just see what happens. Spicy berry. Blazing hot berry that boosts allies' attack for two turns. Ooh. Well, that could be good. I'll definitely take that. That seems really good. Also, how do you get on top of that? That's an interesting thing. I don't see a jump pad or anything, so... That's interesting. Yeah, there's no way to get up on top of that. So there must be an ability, then, that lets you jump up there. Because I wouldn't see any other reason, unless that's just an untouchable area. But, huh, okay then. Definitely interesting, but let's keep making our way out of here. Since it seems like uh, we need to find our way back to town. Um, honestly, well, we're already back, I think. Yeah, I think we are. I'm trying to remember what what this place looked like before, but... Oh yeah, that's, that's Edel, so yeah, we're back in town already. Well, that was quick. Um, oh, it's you guys. Hey, Edel. Long time no see. We're alive. And she's actually crying. Um, oh, goodness. You're all right. You couldn't stop worrying ever since you left. Um, it was a rocky journey. What with the flood and all. Um, no kidding. I don't want to see rivers for a while. Hmm, we're glad to finally be out of there at least. Um, rivers. You're some lucky bugs. Um, but, um, bye, Kabu, who's this? Oh, you know, this is Leaf. Found him trapped in Snake Mouth. Um, so you did make it into Snake Mouth. Um, honestly, we thought you'd bail going to Snake Mouth is crazy. Hmm, bailing would have been a good idea, really. Um, well, we did. And we got this artifact, too. Um, uh-huh. Um, nice one, bye. Let's see it. Well, there it is. Um, impossible. We actually made it into Snake Mouth Daps. Um, yeah, we did it. In your face, Edel. Let's see, I'm trying to... Yeah, okay, yeah, that's... Okay, I was wondering where that was pointing. That was definitely Leaf. Hmm, how sports bug like Uh, fine. It is a folly to boast. Um, it's folly to tell me I can't do something. I guess fair. Um, so it's like the real deal, right? Um, yeah, it's quite like another artifact we've been looking into. It must be the genuine deal. Hmm, it's just like the Neolith was saying. Neolith? What was that? Uh, huh? Um, I was just thinking that you should go see the Queen right away. She will be beyond ecstatic. Hmm, it has been some time since we last saw the Queen. Hmm, so you met the Queen before? That's interesting. Hmm, wait, actually, looking around, we don't recognize that structure over there. Was it built recently? Well, that definitely confirms what we thought in the last last episode, or the first episode in general. Because Leaf sounded like he wasn't from this time. But it's, we still, just because of the way he talks and the way he's kind of like reacting... I could be completely wrong there, but it could be just something to do with amnesia or something like that. But it definitely seems off the way he talks sometimes. But he definitely doesn't seem dangerous other than that. But it's just weird how he talks sometimes. Just because he gives off a weird vibe that he knows more than he's giving off. And I don't know if that's something we need to worry about or if we'll be fine. I honestly don't know. I'm just kind of... I'm on edge with, like, party members just because of things with, like, Persona and stuff like that. I'll be honest. He could be perfectly fine uh, in general and not have a single bad bone in his body. Just, I need to get a little bit of a... 
kind of like more into looking into him more than I can until I can really trust Mr. Leaf here. But he probably will be fine. Well, what? You mean it's the association? It has been there for many moons. <laughs> okay then. Interesting. Well, that definitely answers that question. Um, you are not from around here, are you? Hmm, we are. We recognize this place, but something feels off. Um, you're just fuzzy. From the cave. I bet it will come back to you. Well, Leaf seems pretty down about it. Uh, you know, what about Leaf? Or the exploration teams, uh, can only have two members. Um, oh, that's... Well, it's, it's unusual, but you did conquer the snake mouth. It's been a goal for ages. Hmm, ages, you say? Um, I suppose that. Well, right. With my authority as the association's caretaker, in honor of your feats, I grant you Team Snake Mouth the perk of being able to have three members. Oh, well, that's cool. Hmm, uh, Team Snake Mouth. Um, a proper explorer team name. I'll definitely take it. Um, yay, I guess? Um, well, that's that. Let's go see the Queen. She must know that the artifact was found. Um, oh, I'm so jealous. I hope the reward is good. Um, hee <laughs> hee. It better be. Uh, let's go then. Hmm, yes, a walk through the plaza should help. We need more information. Yeah, it probably would be better for you, bud. Because you seem like you're completely out of it at this point. Oh, look, Edel's actually following us. It's pretty cool. Does it count as her being part of the... No, okay. I was wondering. But there's our little ancient mask. Still no information on what it is, though. But I do say we should probably get a heal in here just in case. Well, it looks like, nope, that's not going to heal us at all. <laughs> well, because it doesn't matter then. But, um... What's that blue one, actually? Burly Berry, worth 12 berries, super bitter berry that boosts allies' defense for two turns. Okay. What's this? Quick Flea. A favorite for, to those who know when to retreat. Makes fleeing battles a bit easier. Huh. Okay. Interesting. But I also see a revive. Probably should buy this. I'm gonna just say that. Interested in that magic seed? How, do you, how does 18 berries sound to you? Sounds pretty good. I'll take it. Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. We'll definitely take a free revive, because having revives in general seems like they'll just help us in general. Oh, found a mistake. Didn't think that was a collectible, but okay. Why would you let this happen? Recovers one TP, but don't eat it. Don't say you weren't warned. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even... <laughs> I, I thought I might find, like, an item in there or something, but... I did technically find one, but... Huh. Okay, then. Interesting. Definitely interesting. But, where do we need to go? I think it was, yeah, this place over here. This seems like where we want to go from, just because that was, I think, blocked before. And that definitely looks like a castle, so we're definitely making our way to where we want to be. Oh, it's the beginning screen. <laughs> so we're finally seeing this place. Um, Alright, everyone. This place is through the gates ahead. Hmm, this seems familiar, but a little different. Even the walls look older. Hmm. Yeah, that, well, that definitely answers that question. But, let's see. Um, let's hurry up, then. It's a big reward time. Oh, uh, ready to go, Leaf. Seem a bit pale. Hmm, you don't need to worry. Let's go. Okay, let's keep going, then. But, yeah, he's definitely not from this time. But, how would that happen? Because he was inside that... You know, just in general, he's inside that web. So, but wouldn't the spider have eaten him a long time ago? If he was in there for quite a bunch of time? Hmm, interesting. I'm trying to figure it out in my head, but I can't think of an answer of how it would work. Oh, uh, we can check this out later. Let's hurry to the castle. Okay. Well, no reason to worry about that, I guess. And it looks like we need a bunch of keys. Just because of the fact that I keep seeing locked areas with no way of actually, you know, going through them. But I'll definitely take a small look around town. Looks like we got a little bit of a bed area up there. A little small little ant hut. But let's make our way to the castle since that is where we want to be going. And hopefully we can find this queen. But, oh, there's Maki. Oh, if it isn't Edel and fine Kabu too. Oh, Maki. Perfect timing. Hey, Maki. The news spread quickly. So you two succeeded. 
You conquered Snake Mouth. You made a friend, even. Well, kinda. He doesn't talk much at the moment, but he talks. Um, you bet we did. You were all worried for nothing. <laughs> Seems my intuition was correct. I'm quite relieved. I have arranged a meeting with the Queen for you. She is expecting us right now. Um, well, since Maki is going with you, I guess it's back to work for me. Uh, thank you for accompanying us, Edel. Um, no problem. Stay out of trouble, alright? Okay, we'll see you later, Edel. Well then, let us go. Lead the way. Okay, we'll definitely lead the way. <laughs> it's kind of funny that, uh... Actually, no, he probably is a soldier ant. But I was thinking, uh, praying mantis for a second, but... Now I'm kind of looking at him, he definitely does seem more like a soldier ant. But, yeah, let's definitely make our way inside. No reason not to. But let's see here. Oh, more of those little crystals. This probably, yep, save one. <laughs> I was wondering. No reason not to try it. I actually know that looks more like a soldier ant than Maki does. So maybe he is indeed a praying mantis. Um, Maki, there you are. You know the queen was waiting. Uh, please forgive us for the delay. Um, we're ready, though. Uh, then you wouldn't mind if we stepped right in. Hmm, no objections. The sooner we answer all doubt, the better. Um, that'll do. Let us proceed then. Okay, let's make our way inside. Let's go meet this queen. Ooh, she looks pretty cool. Huh, like the mask that she's wearing, unless that's literally her face, and that's a pretty cool looking uh, model in general. If it doesn't even need a face, uh, face mask to fix, just make the character look cool. Because that queen looks pretty cool. Um, you now stand before your majesty, Queen Eliza Ant the Seconds. Oh yeah, that was what, um, Leek was saying. He said Eliza Ant earlier. So, it's true. I'm guessing that was Leaf. Um, hmm. So you're the brave ones who found the snake mouth artifacts. Wonderful. So very wonderful. I guess. Um, lieutenants. You are dismissed. As you wish, my queen. Have your own business to attend to. Okay. This is precious. Let us not waste the artifacts. You may hand it over. Meh, fine or reward first? Um, reward please. We are playing as by, so let's just ask for a reward. Just because it is her. Um, no, uh, I want to see the reward ward first. Uh, but fine. Have you gone mad? Hmm. <laughs> Pugilate child, how dare you refer to the queen in such a manner? He seems important, so I'm going to give him a voice. Uh, oh ho, a feisty one, aren't you? We few dare to speak to me with such insolence. Um, Maki, you truly have a keen judge of character. Count your blessings, explorer. Few do I spare the rod of in respect to their accomplishments. Uh, your majesty, they are not worthy of being in your presence. Much less your pardon. Um, stay put, Zaryans. They accomplished what your squad failed to do, didn't they? Yeah, he... I think, uh, just because of the fact that we just learned he's some kind of squad leader, I think, yeah, we'll see him again for sure. Good thing I gave him a voice, because I was going for a guess there, just because his model seemed pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> Um, do not forget... Do not forget your place, young bee. Complete the transaction quickly. Um, as command. Okay, here you go. And hopefully, we get whatever kind of reward we need from that. Um, a clue. Into the everlasting sapling, my mother spent her life looking for. Such beauty. Beauty which should belong to the ant kingdom. Um, here. He earned this. Okay, a crystal berry. Okay, we have a bunch of these, but thanks. <laughs> I'll take one. And 30 berries. Oh, well, we got a little bit of money at least. We got a little bit for what we paid for the for the revival thing. <laughs> I guess we got half of our money back. But not bad. We don't know what those crystal berries are yet, so maybe it was bigger of a reward than we really think it is. Oh, whoa. This is a ton. Oh, brave explorers. You performed a valiant task. Your place in this history of our kingdom is assured. Heh. <laughs> Congratulations! It's praise well earned! Um, of course. Thank you, your highness. Oh, hee hee. First bee in the Hall of Fame. 
Um, thanks. Could we ask something new? Um, I suppose. We could afford time for one question. What would it be? Oh, your highness? Don't know who it is. Oh, it's just a random soldier. Huh? What? Uh, what? What is this person now? Um, urgent news. Confidential information. It's about that. That is... Huh? That? Um, that you say? Come hither. Wonder what they're talking about. Confidential, though. Um, I see. Huh. Okay, then. Interesting. Um, Maki, I leave you to your mission. While you're at it, inform Artis that the next expedition is confirmed. Um, of course. I shall move out at once, your highness. Okay, expedition. Interesting. Um, you three. I bless you with a head start. Sorry you briefed them about the Golden Hills Expedition. Golden Hills Expedition? Well, we know where that is. But Golden Hills, you say? Uh, heed me reports state that an ancient artifact lurks in the Golden Hills. This is a small rural settlement beyond, behind our kingdom. It can be reached through the Tunnel South from the Explorers Association. Um, um, isn't that the Kingdom Territory? Do not dare interrupt us again, child. The Bee Kingdom is our close ally. They are, of course, aware of our expedition. Um, now, talk to the locals, obtain information, and seize the artifact, no matter the cost. Um, have you understood my command? Of course. She's told her told us not to talk back, so I'm not even gonna bother trying to ask her again. <laughs> Alright then. Take this map just in case. Though I'd hope you know how to head south, of course. You got a map of Bulgaria. Oh, thanks. Hmm, uh, thanks so about our question. Um, whatever it was, I am sure it can wait. This is our utmost importance. Head out. Huh. Uh, do not make your majesty repeat herself. Move out, soldiers. Um, jeez. Alright, let's go. Uh, indeed. It'd be unwise to anger a queen. And I just noticed that I gave them both the same voice. Oops. But Sacred Golden Hills. Yeah, I'll probably have to change the... the. He kind of looks like a bee, though. Like, the armor makes him kind of look like a bee and, a, and an ant at the same time. But yeah, Zari, Zari Ant, we need to change his voice, I think. Because now I did Kabu's voice, I realized I have the same voice. But Chapter 2, Sacred Golden Hills. Well, we'll take it. But, here we go. Let's get on out of here. Oh, look! Who's this? A glass win window of Bionica, Queen of the Bees. Oh! So that's the Bee Queen, so of the ki Bee Kingdom. And then this would be a Lizant. Glass window of Lizant the Second, Queen of the Ants. Any other murals? Nope. Oh wait, there's... Actually, there's some behind these little things, actually. I just noticed that. I wonder... Oh, I think... Okay, I have an idea. Maybe as the chapters go on, they'll open them up, maybe? Because it seems like they're different kingdoms. Because this is the Bee Kingdom, this is the Ant Kingdom. This would have to be another kingdom, because you can kind of see it behind the behind the little thing there. But what would that even be? I can't tell. But there definitely is two different kingdoms behind those other little, you know, just in general for the little shades there. But, huh. Cool. We'll definitely go back there to see what kind of murals are there. Probably will another one would open up after maybe the next chapter, maybe? I could guess, but that might not be the case, but I guess we'll find out. Um, alright. We did it. Look at all these berries. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big scare earlier, but I have to admit, did really well. Um, we gotta celebrate. Maybe in the Golden Hills Festival. Um, uh, that's right. How unfortunate that our expedition would line up with such an occasion. Hmm. Um. Oh wait, I thought that was... It's hard to tell when it doesn't say their name in, um, instead of just the line pointing to the character. I'm still getting used to that. Just because, like I said, we're still kind of on, on the, off the heels of Persona. Because when we did Persona, it had the little character models in the corner. So it was easy to know whenever a certain character was talking every single time. But even though I didn't kind of mess up sometimes with that too, but less often I'll definitely say that. 
but it's, it's kind of funny too at the same time whenever it does happen, because to imbibe his character as Kabu's voice was kind of funny for a second. Um, Leaf, you could pretend to be happy or something. Hmm, why, Kabu, maybe we can fix something. Uh, hmm, uh, shoot, okay. When our team left for Snake Mouth, the Queen was Elysiant, the first. Um, what? Well, I kind of saw that coming. Uh, what? Leave, that is not possible. Um, yeah, I wasn't even born when the new Queen took the throne. It's, it's the truth. The plaza has changed as a new queen we can't find our team anywhere. We've been trapped for decades. We don't even know. We hoped we were just fuzzy, but walking around has confirmed it. Uh, Leaf? And this new queen, she rubs us the wrong way. Wrong way, you say? Um, shush. You can't just say that in here. True. We are in the kingdom. You don't want to say things about the queen inside the kingdom. Lysiant the first was kind in understanding. This new queen doesn't quite live up to her. Hmm, sorry too much has happened. We didn't get a chance to ask anything either. Um, yikes. What should we do? This isn't normal at all. Uh, Leaf. I cannot understand your pain you were feeling. Probably there is no one who can. But come with us. Maybe we can explore we'll find the truth behind what happened. What even happened to him? Hmm, the truth, you say. Um, yeah. Maybe there's clues around or something. True, maybe. Hmm, alright. Once again, we're left with a little choice. You're fun to be around, at least. Well, true. <laughs> Our band of misfits are, is pretty fun. Let's be honest around that one. Um, well, yeah, of course. Uh, thank you, Leaf. Together we conquered Snake Mouth. And together we'll figure this out. True. Hopefully. Hmm, for now, let's focus on this mission. We'll be okay. Um, alright. Let's head on south for the clues in glory. Huh. Leaf. Well, let's make our way on out of here. Oh, there's a little library here. Wonder what we can find in here. No reason not to check. Just in case. Ooh, who's that? Is that Elizabeth the first? It might be. Uh, what a masterful painting. It truly captures Lizzie, it's graceful to mirror. Oh, Grace, huh? I guess the new queen has more of a power aura. That definitely, I kind of felt that. She looked more like a warrior than, you know, a queen. I could definitely say that just because of the model. But, it makes sense. Not all queens are going to be the same, right? Hmm, when Lizzie out was a kind as they came, even some monsters would find would be friendly in her presence. Her voice was soothing and she saw the future in a bright light. Um, must have been an honor. Must say, I'm envious of you having met her. Um, aren't you giving the new queen too much of a rough time, though? Hmm, of all people to defend her, we didn't expect it to be you, of course. Um, well, she has a super big reputation to live up to, and a lot of bugs who didn't accept her from the start. Huh. Interesting. A lot of political and social issues forced her hand to, which you could even say Elysian's passing grit gave way to. Mm, we know. We know things are never quite as simple as good queen, bad queen. But it's still difficult to accept. We can't pledge royalty just yet. Um, just yet. Huh. Uh, as long as you're willing to keep an open mind, she may even surprise you. True, so sh maybe his intuition wasn't bad then. So maybe it was just he's not used to her, so... Because the way he said it made it sound like she might have been a villain. But yeah, I guess it is just a complete misunderstanding thing there. So I guess I can... Okay, I, I was a little confused by it with the way he said that earlier. But yeah, she was kind of, you know rude because he asked her for a question and then she just kind of blew him off after the fact that oh golden uh the golden hills expedition's now open now but huh, okay hmm until then we have this painting to come back to true there but it's kind of cool looking but i don't think he's important let's make our way out of the library just because i was wondering what was inside the rooms 
no reason not to check, right? Just because of the fact that it is our first time inside the castle, so we might actually find something that's hidden behind here. More of the Elizabeth morals, or murals, and then the Elizabeth the first. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. But it doesn't seem like anything important for the time being in any of those rooms. Oh, we can go... Well, I didn't think that would be, you could go down there, but apparently we could. Just because it looked like... It looked like a ramp, but it was more looked like something that was just part of the environments. But, huh. Interesting little mine here. Cool, I guess. What's down here? Huh. Cool. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting little, like, areas in general. It's very nicely stylized, I like this game. Just, like, all the stylization and stuff just reminds me of, like, my past and just in general makes me feel like a little kid again. Playing Mario, um, Paper Mario or even just the original Mario and Luigi games. Those were my, like, favorite games as a little kid. Even though I, even though I say Pokemon was always my favorite as a little kid, Paper Mario and just in general, like, Thousand Year Door, stuff like that, were, like, a big part of my childhood as well. And it's really giving me, like, a lot of, like, nostalgia vibes. And it's really fun to me because of the fact that it's a game I've never played. And I'm feeling nostalgic about it. That's that's why it feels funny to me. But it's in a good way. It's it's really, really good. I like this. This is... This is good. Like, really... Like, I'm having a lot of flashbacks to my younger days, although I'm not old, I'm far from it, but, like, I'm having, like, flashbacks of, like, at least, like, 10 to, like, 12 years ago when I was, like, 10 years old, and just playing through, like, the games of old and just in general, just having a good time on the GameCube at my friend's house and just, in general, just having a nice fun time. This, this is pretty good, and it's, just starting, honestly, since now we're only getting into Chapter 2, and we still got quite a few ways, I would think. I don't think this game is anywhere near short. I think it's seven chapters based on the Steam achievements, but there could be more because it could be a hidden achievements for further chapters. So, with that being said, thank you all for watching today's episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep being spooky, and in the next episode, we will be continuing into the Golden Hills and starting the second chapter of our adventure. So, with that being said, thank you all for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, keep being spooky, and peace out. Hey boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.